Hello everybody, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem in Young's double set experiment. It is given that the intensity at a point on the screen of the Young's double set experiment is 1 by 4th of the maximum intensity. What is the angular position of this point when the wavelength of the source used in the problem is something like lambda? So it is given that we know the formula I resultant is 4 i naught cos square 5 by 2. This i resultant is 1 by 4th of the maximum. Maximum is nothing but 4 i naught equal to 4 i naught of cos square 5 by 2. So 4 i naught can be cancelled. That implies cos square 5 by 2 is 1 by 4. That implies cos yeah it is given that we have found that cos square 5 by 2 is 1 by 4 that implies cos 5 by 2 is 1 by 2 that implies 5 by 2 is nothing but equal to pi by 3 cos 60 is half that implies the phase difference between them is nothing but equal to 2 pi by 3 once if you got the phase difference as you know the relation between phase difference and path difference 2 pi by lambda into delta x I can substitute this value 2 pi by 3 equal to 2 pi by lambda into delta x 2 pi 2 pi can be cancelled so we got the path difference delta x is nothing but equal to lambda by 3 basing on that we need to move further so if you remember back the diagram of the Young's double slit experiment, this is the slit 1, the slit 2 is the distance between the two slits, small d, this is the screen at a perpendicular distance of capital D. And if you see what happens at a point P, there is a path difference between them. To get the path difference, I shall draw a perpendicular line then if this is an angle theta this angle is also theta and the right angle triangle s1 q s2 we can write sin theta as this path difference extra delta x by d that implies i can write delta x equal to d sin theta we have already proved it in the previous video lessons also just i have shown here to reinforce the concept but we got in this problem that delta x is lambda by 3 so lambda by 3 is d sin theta you want sin theta angular position lambda by 3d r theta sin inverse of lambda by 3d that's it Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.